All right, this is uh, Mark Raymond Frisbee Jr. I'm running for governor of California, uh, this beautiful state. I'm here at the Veterans uh, DVA at uh, Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles, California. I'm a Long Beach native. And uh, so I uh, vote for Frisbee and uh, this is, uh, I'm running socialist, so uh, please contact if you like this video, the, uh, the socialist party uh, in your area and put in a nomination for my, for my election uh, to get me on the ballot for the socialist and I will work to, I will work to bring the socialist party uh, to the forefront and uh, keep a third, a three party system in place. Uh, so, you know, we'll have a Democratic, Republican, and Socialist uh, Party in Washington, D.C., and a permanent, uh, permanently established uh, party. So, you know, not to say that we'll entirely turn California Socialist, but maybe this time around we'll give Socialism uh, a chance to uh, prove its worth in, uh, in, in our political system. Uh, I've created a video. I wrote this myself. Uh, this is a song. It's a... Uh, you know, everybody wants a you know a world famous uh, world famous rock star or a governor. I'm, I'm that's that's me, and uh, and I will pass the uh, legislation uh, necessary to ensure your civil rights and that our California state laws are in place not to violate your federal civil rights. That applies to uh, Medicare reform uh, and uh, you know socialist programs. That's what socialism is: is the programs that. They uh, they secure your uh, your fundamental uh, necessities so that capitalism, which is something that people, especially that have dreams of becoming rich, small businesses, working for yourself, uh, those things are protected by socialist programs. Uh, programs like that we have, like like Medicare, but mostly that program isn't isn't working for people the best, and uh, that has a lot to do with the fact that the monopoly is is uh, consumed by 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 a special interest in and then it's not it's not being run or regulated by the government whereas something like say the US Postal Service is and you know your other companies are free to compete like FedEx and UPS and they do they do just fine but you know your your uh, your ability to send a letter is, is is held safe and uh and it keeps inflation and the economy running strong and that's what we want we want a strong economy you know, so you know things like uh, we want we want shorter lines at the DMV because uh, what what happens is that you, we have overworked federal or state employees, and then we have people that are missing work, so it slows down the economy. We lose money, and it, you know we want uh, we want laws that that aren't uh, le allowing people to take away our our civil rights or state laws. You know things like that. So, uh, oh, like oh, as I said, I had written this song. I hope you like it. It's it's fairly long. So enjoy uh, as we uh, pan around. Uh, this is Los Angeles, and it, uh, it is a beautiful day today. It's a Sermon on the Mound. I'm also a, I'm also a Christian. Uh, it goes. Uh, I wrote this myself. Uh, so this would be the first time anybody has. Uh, and I'm not. Uh, it is a Sermon on the Mound, but I am not alone. If you're tuning in right now, hopefully the whole world will watch this, and uh, so it will be to you. And it goes along like this. It goes up. Uh, Blessed are those on the mountain, the disciples who have come to Christ. Bless the poor in spirit, the kingdom is heaven. God fulfills those starving for righteousness. Those who mourn shall be comforted soon. The meek shall inherit the earth. God bless the pure in heart, for they shall see God and his merciful, shall receive mercy no less. The peacemakers are to be called God's children, those persecuted for righteousness sake. Blessed for theirs is the kingdom of heaven as are you when tribulations come your way. For the sake of my name you may be reviled, falsely accused, persecuted by many evil men. Rejoice for great is your reward in heaven. For evil men have always persecuted the prophets. Hear me now you are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses flavor, how can it be used when no longer good for savor? It's cast out on the ground, it's trampled underfoot. Your great city on a hill you are the light of the world. A candle lit to be seen and not hidden. So shine on so people can see your good works and bring glory to your Father in heaven. I'm not come to destroy the law of the prophets, so believe me when I say, even the smallest truth, the prophecy will take place before heaven and earth pass away.
I've come to fulfill the law of the prophets, and those who abide by and teach prophecy relate to all and even the least of commandments that in the kingdom of heaven they will be called great but whoever breaks even the least of commandments in the kingdom of heaven they'll be called the least so if your righteousness does not exceed the scribes and pharisees you will enter into heaven by no means the commandment was given a long time ago thou shalt not kill lest judgment ensue i say whoever has hate for his brother in his heart shall face judgment i say to you whoever says rocker will be in danger of counsel who says you fool will face fire in hell so if you go to make your gift at the altar remember first your brother as well be reconciled first to the brother you've offended go first to make peace with him and once you've been reconciled to your brother you may return to the altar to make your offering come to terms with your brother quickly and repay if you committed offense lest along the way he turn you over to the judge and the court officer puts you in prison very truly i say to you you will certainly never come out from that prison confinement Till you paid the final amount. The commandment was given a long time ago. Thou shalt not commit adultery. I say whoever has adulterous lust in his heart has sinned to adultery already. And if any member should cause you to sin the right eye or the right arm, remove the member and cast it away, lest the entire body suffer the harm for it is better to lose. Just one member, then the entire body be cast into hell. I say whoever divorces his wife without cause has been the cause of adultery as well. Do not swear by God without performing, nor in vain as it was said in old times. And I say to you now, do not swear by your head, for you cannot turn one hair black or white. Do not swear by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by earth, for it is the stage of God's feet. Do not swear at all, not even by Jerusalem, for it is the city of a mighty king. Let your answer be simply yes or no, nothing more and nothing less. For anything more that proceeds from the mouth becomes a wicked promise. And you've heard it's been said, an eye for an eye has been said, a tooth for a tooth. Do not resist the one who was wicked, however I say to you. If someone slaps your right cheek, offer him the left. If someone sues you for your cloak, offer that person the shirt off your back that that person may possess also both. If someone commands you to walk one mile with them, be compelled to walk with them too. Do not resist the one who would borrow and give freely to those who ask of you. The commandment was given, thus shall love thy neighbor, and also love thy enemy. Do good to those that hate you, bless those that curse you, and pray for those who persecute you despitefully, that you may be the children of your Father in heaven, for he makes the sun rise and fall on the good and the evil and the just and unjust. God brings rain upon all. So don't love only your brother and bless only your neighbor as one who collects public tax. But be perfect to all as your Father in heaven. For if you do, what reward will you have? Take heed not to boast of your righteousness, taking alms to be seen before men. For if you do, your reward will be among them and not with God, your Father in heaven. Hypocrites give gifts seeking glory from men, sounding trumpets in synagogues and corners of streets. Very truly I say they have received their reward. Therefore, let your giving be kept secret, let the let them not know what the right hand does, for your heavenly Father rewards openly the good deeds that he has seen you perform for the public that you have done secretly. So when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites are before men on corners of the streets. Very truly, I say they have received their reward. Therefore, let your giving be, ke be kept secret. So when you pray in two and two, a quiet room and close the door when you pray and your heavenly father will hear your prayers in secret and he will answer your prayers openly. Do not be like the heathens using much repetition, but when you pray, let it be this way. For God knows all that you need before you ask, so don't make your prayers in vain. Pray, our father in heaven, hallowed by name, thy kingdom come as is heaven on earth. Forgive us our debts, thy will be done as we also forgive our debtors. Forgive us this day our daily bread, lest temptation lead us away, and deliver us from evil forever. Amen. Into your kingdom of power and glory. Amen. For if you forgive the trespasses of men on earth, trespasses will be forgiven in heaven by God. But if you do not forgive the trespasses of men, your heavenly Father will forgive your trespasses not. Do not disfigure your face with a frown when you fast, as hypocrites do for attention. For your heavenly Father sees all that they do, and they have sought the reward among men. But when you fast and your head, and wash your face, is not to appear to be fasting before men. Then your heavenly Father will see you fasting in secret, and your reward will come from God in heaven. Do not store up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, thieves break in and steal. Store up for yourself treasures in heaven, for where your treasure is, your heart is as well. The eye is the lamp of the body. If the eye is full of light, the whole body will be light. If the eye is full of darkness, 
the whole body will be evil. A dark is no light. No one can serve two masters. He will love the one and hate the other. You cannot serve God and the physical world by holding fast the one you let go of the other. Do not worry about what you'll eat and drink to survive. Do not worry about the clothes you will wear. Life is more than food. The body is more than clothing. Consider the birds of the air. They neither reap nor sow nor gather grain into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. And are you not worth more? And who, by being anxious, could add one more measure of time to his lifespan? And why be so anxious about clothing? Consider how the lilies of the field grow. They neither toil nor spin. However, not even Solomon was ever so gloriously clothed. And if God so clothes the grass of the field that is here today and tomorrow it's gone, how much more will he clothe you, ye little faith, though the grass is cut down and thrown into the oven? So do not worry about what you should say, what you'll eat, and what you will drink. For all of the nations seek after these things, and your heavenly Father knows all that you need. Seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness first, and all these things God will provide. Taking no more worry for what tomorrow will bring, until the evil of today subsides. Judge not, lest thee be judged. For others will judge you too, and the judgment that you use will be measured out and then measured back on to you. How can you look to the speck in your brother's eye without noticing the beam of your own? Saying, brother, let me remove your blemish. When your sight is completely gone, first remove the beam from your own eye, restoring and cleansing your sight. Then you would see clearly, hypocrite, to remove the, any blemish from your brother's eye. Do not give what is holy to the dogs or cast your pearls before swiney pigs. Lest all your gifts be trampled under your foot and you be turned on a rip to shreds. Ask it shall, you shall receive, seek and you will find. Knocking the door will be open for you. For to the one who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door is open to who if his son asked for bread would give him a stone or a serpent if he were to ask for a fish. Even evil know how to give your gifts to their kids. How much more will God bless those who ask of him? Therefore treat others how you would like to be treated. For this is prophetic law. Narrow is the gate that leads to salvation, and the gate through destruction is broad. Straight is the road, and narrow is the gate, and few find the path to salvation. Windy is the road, and many will enter through the wide gate that leads to destruction. Beware of false prophets, dress in sheep's clothing, and relieve their ravenous wolves. Do men gather grapes from thorns, thieves, and thistles? You shall recognize them by their fruits. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, a bad tree cannot bear good fruit, and good fruit a bad tree cannot have, therefore you shall recognize them by their fruits. And all evil trees are cut down and cast into the fire, so you shall know them by their fruits. For not all who call on the Lord will enter into heaven, but the one who does my Father's will. For many will say they prophesied in my name, saying, Lord, Lord, we did many wonderful works. I proph prophesied they cast out devils, but not in my name. Their works were evil, and they must depart. For the one who hears my words and performs them as well is like the wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rains and the winds and the floods came and beat on that house, and it fell not. But the one who hears my words and ignores them is like a fool who built his house on the sand. And the rains and the winds and the floods came, and great was the fall, for that house could not stand. The Sermon on the Mound. Thank you. This is uh, Mark Raymond Frisbee Jr. That's our original song, Ed. This is uh, for my political action uh, campaign for the Socialist Party, California Governor. Uh, vote for me. I will perform for you. Uh, I will do uh, everything to make this uh, change the state and the laws to make it the greatest and strengthen our economy and, uh, and provide for the future generations. Uh, God bless you and do please go online and contact your uh, your local uh, socialist party and and vote for me vote for frisbee just say hey we want frisbee on the ballot this year and that's all and do that every year until until happy frisbee gets elected governor and you will make me happy thank you